Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the ninth European International Kidney Cancer Symposium, and welcome to Dublin. My name is James Larkin. Um, I'm a medical oncologist from the Royal Marsden in London, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you here on behalf of the faculty um, and also of the planning committee. Um, just in terms, perhaps, to start off with, with a, a few housekeeping items. Hopefully, you all have your uh, response interactive devices with you or at hand, because you'll be needing those this afternoon. Um, if everyone could make sure their phones are switched off or on silent, and you could all familiarise yourself with the emergency exit. There's no uh, fire drills planned. Um, now. There's been a lot of progress in kidney cancer over the last decade, and I hope that the program that we've put together for the next day and a half uh, reflects that um, in surgery, um, in drug treatment, uh, in pathology, um, in lots of areas, I think, but also reflects the fact that we've made progress, but we still have a lot more to do in this disease in the future. Um, and as you can see from the programme this afternoon, um, we are very fortunate to have a named lecture um, by Bernard Escudier from IGR in Paris. Um, we also have a named lecture tomorrow from Martin Gore from the Marsden in London, uh, two uh, people who've made an enormous contribution over the last 10 or 20 years to improving outcomes in this disease. We also have a scientific symposium. Uh, we have a surgical session later on today. There's a satellite symposium this afternoon, and also there's a session devoted to the nursing care uh, of patients with kidney cancer. And then leading into tomorrow, we have sessions on systemic kidney cancer treatment, on pathology and prognosis, uh, a whole session on some of the open questions in this disease where we don't really know the answers. Um, uh, before we finish uh, just after lunch tomorrow where we're talking about challenges from the disease um, and from treatment. So hopefully we've got a program um, that you'll all find stimulating uh, and enjoyable. Um, in terms of what's going to happen over the next few minutes, um, Ray McDermott, um, who is our local host from Dublin, will be joining, uh, joining me on stage in a moment to welcome you. Um, from um, his perspective as the host. Uh, and then Carrie Konofsky will be saying a few words um, on behalf of the Kidney Cancer Association. Uh, and then Jean-Jacques Patard is here as well, and he will be introducing uh, Bernard Escudier's lecture. So um, I think uh, the only thing that I would finally like to do is to thank uh, the team at the KCA uh, and Jeannie Brow and everyone else in the office for organising all of this. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes um, over months and months and months. Um, so we all, I think, as a planning committee and as a faculty, are very grateful to them. So without further ado, uh, Ray, I'm going to introduce you. Um, and Ray's going to go through, through some of the, uh, the questions which we enjoy so much at the start of uh, every symposium. Ray. Thanks so much, James, and uh, thanks. Uh, it's great to have so many people interested in kidney cancer here in uh, in Ireland. And as I said earlier, we've got one of our rare uh, sunny, sunny days here in Ireland, so we've got to make the most of it. I believe the weather forecast is not great for tomorrow, so whatever you're going to do, do it tonight. So I think we have some uh, some uh, interactive questions just to get things rolling. Um, so first question: Has everyone got their uh, hand set. First question: Is this your? This isn't a trick question. Is this your first visit to Ireland? <laughs> Great news. That's, that's for those of you who don't know. This is traditional Irish music. We'll have Irish dancing shortly. <laughs> don't ask me to do it. Do we have a reply? Do I need to do something here or does it come up automatically? Say again. It's not going forward for me. Unfortunately, we seem to have a technological problem. It's not going forward. I don't know what the... How do we get to the response page? It's not my first visit to Ireland, obviously. 
<laughs> Do we have someone from the... Just while we're waiting, I can tell you that this, uh, this convention, sorry. Okay, so we'll move on. Okay, so um, I was going to tell you an interesting story with this building, but I think in the interest of time, we'll move on. <laughs> so, uh, okay, well, look, thank you so much, James, for allowing me to, uh, to co-host this, and I'm delighted that the event is on here in Ireland. And uh, without further ado, I'll ask uh, Carrie Kanofsky to, on behalf of the Kidney Cancer Association, to come up and talk. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Carrie Kanoski and I'm the Vice President of Development and Public Affairs for the Kidney Cancer Association. Um, first, I just want to say thank you to our sponsors and to the Planning Committee for the hard work that you've done um, this year to put on another wonderful meeting for us. For those of you not familiar with the organization, we were founded in 1990 by Eugene Schoenfeld, who was a kidney cancer patient. Um, as many of you know, back in 1990, there wasn't much that could be done for patients diagnosed. Uh, with the disease and to Jean, who was a, an academic, um, you know, to him that he couldn't understand that and didn't think that that was an answer he was willing to accept. So um, challenged by his physician, he and a few other patients um, sat around his kitchen table and decided to form the Kidney Cancer Association. Um, and what you know, started in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States um, with Gene and his doctor and a few patients is now um, the organization that you see today. We, um, this, this is our ninth European meeting. Um, and as you will hear from um, this weekend from Dr. Gore and Dr. Scudier, we're both instrumental in getting um, our organization to really move to the, the next level um, and bring the work that we were doing in the US here um, into Europe. And so we're gr grateful for all of your hard work for this. Um, I just wanted to mention again, if you haven't had an opportunity to look, we have our website, kidneycancer.org, um, and kidneycancer.com, which is more physician geared. So you'll find videos of past meetings if you haven't been able to attend, and a variety of resources that we encourage you to pass along to your patients, to your nurses, and others that you work with. Um, our primary publication is entitled, We Have Kidney Cancer. That was put together by our nurse advisory board and is updated annually to incorporate new treatments, um, new surgeries um, that are being done for patients, and it's translated into 13 different languages. So if there is a language that we don't have and you think might be of value to your patients, um, please contact us and we'd be happy to work with you on getting that translated. Um, and with that, I, again, I would just like to thank you all again for being here, and now I will be introducing um, Jean-Jacques Petard, who will be presenting the PHM DeMalder Award this afternoon. <laughs> 